Good morning, my Subi subscribers, and welcome back to another Subi Shares video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team Allblade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. You can already see I've got Subi smiles going on, and I'm thrilled to have you here. Seriously, squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into today's shoot video and for joining me. Honestly, I'm thrilled to have you here. I hope wherever you're tuning in from in the world, you've got sunshine and rainbows and you have a nice cup of coffee in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome. I am thrilled to have you here. Thank you so much again for clicking into today's shoot video and for joining me. I am really excited. Today is going to be one of those shaves that I've been looking forward to and I'm really excited to do. I want to give Yachi and Grace a huge... um massive shout out tons of respect and love and honestly from the heart i really do appreciate the team for sending these out for review what we're going to be talking about today is these two beautiful sb razors in different heights we're going to be comparing the 90 versus the 105 sb the reason why i want to do this is because even though i have not used them on the um, skin yet i feel like because they're exactly the same right they are the same 31 grams they have the same kind of profile all that really differs is is the actual blade gap. The exposure is 0 0.05. And I really believe because they are so similar, we'll be able to test out and see how they stack up side by side and which one you should order based on your skin and shaving preferences. I'm really excited. We're using some um, like handles, right? We're using some, these are pre-war tech handles. And the reason why I'm using these is to keep things apples to apples, right? We want to make sure that we're not going to compare these two razors side by side. And then in the end, you know, uh, kind of change the shave based on the weight of the handle. So this will keep things apples to apples and make it so we can really dial in and just see how these heads perform side by side. I'm really excited. I have been over to the Yachi website a million times because honestly, I love the stuff they're producing. I think it's at a great price point. And I do want to mention again, these are kind of tribute razors based on another, the WR1 really honestly, but because even though they're tribute razors, it doesn't really, I believe, um, retract or reduce um, the income um, for either company, right? These are different um, segments of the market. And so today we're going to avoid from getting too deep into things as far as the history and just talk about the shaving quality and merit for these two heads. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm really excited. These are two razors that I've wanted to review side by side for a while. And I'm thrilled to have you here for it. Thank you so much again for being here. We're going to be talking about Gondelier today. Gondelier. Gondelier, whatever, however you want to pronounce this, this is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is a scent for me that I really like, that I just don't pick up often enough, and I'm going to be using it today with you on channel today, Gondolier. I, I really like this. It smells very masculine. I want to mention this. This has rose in it, but because rose is a very dynamic scent, keep in mind, rose is one of the most used scents in the world of fragrance dome, right? This is one of the most commonly ubiquitous um, used scents. I love this. I think the rose in it, it plays at the back of the scent, and it comes across as being very, very masculine. The best way I could put this is department scent, right? This smells like a department store scent to me. I love this. And this came with my way, my buddy John. He actually sent this over to me, and I'm really, really like it. So shout out to John and what a beautiful scent gondolier I think is how you pronounce it. I'm probably saying it wrong it's probably French or um, Italian I'm probably saying it wrong but I like the scent a lot we've got it whipped up in our dreamscape scuttle from Phoenix Artisan <laughs> the V2 since I broke my other one take a look here the the soap it does not suck I won't lie to you I'll have this um, the lather video going I did film that again I hope that's interesting and enjoyable to see so that you guys don't see me skip the lather process but Take a look here. It's nice. It's warm with my scuttle and it is ultra, ultra thick and hydrated. Absolutely loving it. And just, I'm still breaking in this mojo and I'm loving every shave I've done so far with it. I honestly, love this. Um, I've only got three shaves so far, so I'm not going to talk about the quality of the knot and everything like that, but the brush, it does a work. It does some work. Oh, look at the... Talk about a leprechaun slapping underneath the rainbow. Unicorns only. Oh, lollipops and rainbows. Smells amazing. Love this one from Doug. Very masculine. But I think it is complex and it's very uh, balanced and harmonious. I feel like a lot of scents that become departmented scents, you know, they're they're balanced and they're harmonious and inviting. Good projection. And I love, I love, I love how it kind of comes off after the dry down occurs um, post-shave. I really like the way it smells post-shave. So what we're going to start with today is we're going to talk about the 90 first on the right side and then do it to the 105. So we're going to start with the more mild version, right? These are, again, are uh, they do have positive blade exposure. So you will get quite a bit of efficiency with this. Stainless steel 316 high 
and polish. Now, the first thing I want to call out with this razor is I have personally done polishing, right? And if I were to polish two razors and st um, si set them side by side, they're identical. I bet you I would have a little bit variation in the weight because as you're polishing, you're removing material and burrs. This razor and the other razor are exactly the same. So their quality and machining and polish work are unique. Like they're identical. And I think that's really cool. I think that showcases consistency and quality as far as their manufacturing. Again, awesome razor. We have it loaded with Persona Lab Blues. I'll have that video going, but man, I'm really excited to use this. Again, what an awesome opportunity. And I want to just, again, shout out to the Achi for making this video even possible, for sending us the gear for review, and for honestly continuing to improve their manufacturing and their processes so that everybody that's purchasing the razor can get the same thing and get good shaves. I think it's an awesome, awesome thing seeing their company kind of develop and grow and really become more consistent. I can't keep showing. I, I, I just want to keep showing you. I love how this this looks the polish on it and it's, it's impeccable and honestly at the price point 36 bucks is what this is what this head will cost you right now i just looked it up on alley that's a that's a win for everybody that's a win for the new shaver for advanced shavers it's for a win for the collectors i love this razor and i'm really excited to try it out on the dome today at least i love the way it looks let's see how it shaves let's get some swipes in here like i said we're using a very very light handle to kind of counteract the concept of like, you know, uh, having a handle add too much to the shave. This is so smooth. Look at how much lather it takes off. So freaking smooth. I have not used this and I am really impressed. Again, there has not been a stainless steel um, razor I've, I've used from Yachi that I haven't loved. Thus far, every single thing I've picked up and used from them, I've really enjoyed and I would recommend. I, have, I think you can buy their entire lineup for less than what most razors cost as a standard one-off from other brands. And I just like that. I think it offers a lot of um, ability to try new things out for, you know, if you're a person that's never tried a medium razor and you want to try a stainless steel one in medium, I like that. I think that's cool. Oh my goodness, man. What a smooth. I'm playing around with different angles even. Kind of going in here, trying, you know, shallow, trying steep. What a smooth razor. What an absolutely divine, smooth, enjoyable, talk about a bowl of charms kind of razor. Now this is, like I said, a kind of a tribute razor to the WR1, but you gotta understand other brands have also done that, like um, the Razor Rock Lupo, right? And a lot of people are curious how this shaves to the Lupo um, side by side. Honestly, I don't think there'd be that much difference. They look very similar to me. I just love the price point of this and I like the finished quality on this. The finish, look at the shave we just nailed. So easy, super efficient. I would put the blade fill as more blade fill than the um, Sentinel as far as the uh, actual on the skin blade fill, but efficiency is probably identical. I like the angle better on this razor than the Sentinel. The Sentinel is just a razor that's absolutely beautiful from Yachi. If you haven't seen that, go look at that on their website. Yachi's Sentinel razor is one of the best, in my, in my opinion, as far as quality to price on the market currently. I think it's one of the best razors I have used in the market at that price point. Really, really, really beautiful razor. I like this one maybe a little bit more. Honestly, I like this angle a little bit better. And uh, we're going to do this as a standard typical battle shave where we're going to go over the areas that we've already shaved to see if we get anything off. But I am just, this is amazing. 24 hours here, 24 hours of stubble. Take a look. You can just see it's having no problems flowing. It's whacking it down and it's giving me zero irritation. I love when you find these razors, they're Goldilocks razors, right? They have the right amount of skin fill to the right amount of performance. Oh yeah, and I, I don't think it's un, uncommon or unheard of. People have awesome uh, talked about the Lupo, right? People have talked about the Lupo and how good it shaves. I think this fits in that category. What? <laughs> That's so smooth. For that being just a two pass, that is really, really, really nice. You can definitely see why people um, out there have tried to clone, copy, or kind of make it their own, but kind of take some points, some uh, some concepts from the original because. What a smooth, driving, easygoing, really enjoyable. I just can't get over how smooth that is. Watch this. Watch this. You guys are going to have to see this. Watch this. Wow, look at that takeoff. All that lather, zero stubble issues, no skin problems, no irritation. It's completely smooth on that side. I have a clear line right here in between where it's perfect and where there's tons of stubble. 
What an absolutely beautiful shave from the 90. Again, this is the 90. I really like the way that shapes. Let's switch it up now to the 105 and see if it's that much different. Let's do it. Let's try this side out. Oh yeah, I would say the 105 has more blade fill, um, just slightly, even though it has the same blade gap, or the same, sorry, excuse me, the same exposure. With the change in the gap, I can definitely feel a little bit more blade. Yep, this one's a more efficient, slightly more aggressive. So I'd say the other one's like medium, low, medium aggressive, whereas this falls in the higher end of, uh, of aggressive. For me, keep in mind that is for me, I would not call this razor ultra aggressive, but I'm definitely taking my time and being very conscientious of the angle. I'm going to mention that again. I think the other one's maybe a little bit easier as far as like just the uh, zero effort, <laughs> zero effort, zero thought. That 90 gap for me is really nice. When you add that extra little bit, I don't know, it definitely, definitely makes it a little bit more, um, oh yeah, definitely has more blade fill to it, just slightly, and more efficiency. I can feel it just chopping down, and that's crazy. That's absolutely nuts for how smooth this is, for the efficiency I'm getting out of it. Wow. Wow, <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> take a look at this. That's what we're talking about right there. That is what that's what wet shaving's all about. Huge shout out to Yachi for continually up in the game, for continually challenging what meta is and what meta uh, needs to represent and what's offered to the community. I love this razor. I absolutely love this. What a fantastic, and I keep talking about them, and I'm really, really honored that Yachi has continued to let me work with them. Keep in mind, we are still pretty small fry. Our channel is still, you know, we're the oddball group. <laughs> but I'm thrilled that Yachi's been um, willing to, you know, work with us and send us things for trial. I just, I absolutely love talking about their brand because I do think that they offer razors that uh, make it very approachable, right, for the new and um, existing enthusiast. Oh, yeah, what a shave. What an awesome. Now, if I would say if you're a new shaver, right, go with the 90. But if you're looking for a little bit more bite like that, right, you want that efficiency, you want the 24 hours to feel like you just lasered it off, that right there will do it. Oh, I'm going to be honest here. I like both. I would use the 90 probably more often. I don't know if I always want that kind of efficiency, but we are smooth. We are absolutely beyond zero issues. We have no problems on the skin at all. Yeah, and this is just ultra, ultra nice. The polished finish has no burrs. Oh, man. I just can't. I cannot get over the fact that this is $30. I, my, my, my Subi mind can't comprehend just how awesome that shaving at the price point that it's at. What a fan freaking fantastic shave. We're going to do a wipe down really quick and double check how it feels on the skin. But I'm just going to say straight up, honestly, from the heart, I like this better than the Sentinel. The Sentinel's head's a little taller. And I've mentioned that about Wolfman, um, the, their, that razor head. If you look at this head, and I show it in the loading cam here, but you can just see it's a lot thicker, right? That head's much, much thicker. I like this thinner head a little bit better for like tight spots. It feels a little bit more maneuverable. <laughs> I don't know if there's any difference between each side, but I was able to get that same fast shave on this side as this side with one less pass, right? Half a less pass at least. Less less cleanup, less touch-ups, less cleanup on this side. Neither side with the alum are feeling any burn. We're going to get re-lathered up here, and then we'll do some cross passes. Come with me. Absolutely fantastic soap. Loving this scent from Doug. Loving Gondolier. I, if you've not smelled Gondolier, uh, go over to Doug's website. Order yourself one of those little tester vials. Really, really interesting scent. Very dynamic. I don't think that's for everybody, but if you like clone forward scents, you like scents that smell pretty um, balanced and smell like, like something you'd smell in a department store, this could be your favorite. I'm telling you, it's one of ours at my house, at least. I love projection in, um, from scents that smell balanced. And I love when you get that compliment when somebody comes up and goes, this is really unique. What is this? It's one of Doug's gondolier. Love it. Okay, we're going to grab that 105 here, and we're going to get some swipes on this side and see if we can get anything off of the 90 side. Oh, this is an ice skate. Uh, this is an ice skate. I do feel like this has a little bit more blade fill to it. Surprising. It's surprising how much the gap is um, changing the actual fill on the skin. You can see we're not getting anything off, but the actual fill on the skin, oh my goodness. Whoo! 
that's nice. Oh yeah, that's why I love what we do here. I love when you get that razor that just glides and this, the lather feels nice and hydrated. The skin's not having any irritation. Oh, what a shave. What a phenomenal shave. And thank you again for being here for it. I really do appreciate, oh, appreciate you guys for being here. And I do appreciate the comments, the compliments, the enthusiasm and positivity you show me every single day. I cannot tell you how much I really do appreciate it. We're going to switch it up now and go with the 90 here on the other side. I'm going to make sure you guys can see it here. The 90. I apologize. I'm having a hard time with showing things on these razors because they're so reflective, right? That high polish, high sheen on the stainless is hard to show that laser etching, but that's just another thing there. Look at the, look at the attention to detail with the etching even really, really cool. I love that. I love that. I can look in my drawer and say, okay, this is what model it is based on the actual little um, stamping on the side. I love the 90. The 90 now feels like it's gentle compared to the other one. The other one feels just a little bit more uh, aggressive. It really does. The blade flow on it, it definitely feels more aggressive, but I feel like the shave is also a little more efficient on the other side. We're not getting anything off here. Not getting anything off, but I am kind of being a little bit more apprehensive uh, uh, just because of uh, the other razor kind of giving me some uh, feedback. This one? No, man. This is easy. Talk about a razor that just wants to shave and relax. You know, this is the type B personality. The other one's the type A, right? The other one, you have to pay attention to every single angle. I'm like sitting there like, okay, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Very smooth razors, very smooth. This one for me, man, wow, what an easy going. Yeah, I could just, this could be an awesome vacation razor for me because I just, one of those things, I don't know if there's really, I don't know if this could ever give you a bad shave. Honestly, <laughs> it's very easy. We're not getting anything off. Take a look here. Nothing's coming off. So I would say they're about the same on efficiency as far as like the, the actual at the end of the shave. I'm not getting anything off, but as far as getting to the BBS level, the other one got there a little faster, just how it is, but it does come with a price of a little bit more blade fill. Awesome shave. Fantastic from both. Um, as a person that probably would favor the more low end of medium, right, on the daily, I would probably like the 90 more. But that 105, I think you could take that to a month's worth of growth probably. You could shave a Bigfoot. That thing, that thing is awesome. The efficiency, the bite, the feel of it. Oh, I love both sides. I have, I, I can't declare either one a winner because it's going to be a preference thing. I think in the end, depending on what you prefer, do you like a razor with some bite and some kick and some performance, or do you prefer a more easy daily driver that you don't really have to think about that you can pick up every single day and always get an awesome shave? Either one. Honestly, either one are winners for me. In my opinion, I really like, just based on shave matter alone, this razor is one that I honestly would reach for constantly. I really like this. And I love that it produces, like, you know, it can enhance your guys' shave dents. I think that's cool at a pretty fair, pretty fair price. Really awesome. Thank you again for being here for this. I know I really enjoyed this shave. I hope you enjoyed being here. If you haven't already, please go below. Smash that sub button for me. I just, I can't even begin to express how much I, I truly do appreciate you um, and the support and the comments and the likes. It really does improve the journey and make it absolutely possible. So thank you so much. Without you guys, it would just be videos, random videos. You're what makes it important. We're going out that gondolier. Oh, what a beautiful, tons of kick. Tons of kick, lots of projection, really, really strong. To me, it just smells like a very, very fine, like, you know, like he's, it's a guy that knows he's put together, right? He knows what he's doing. He's, he's a well-dressed, sharp-dressed kind of man. I like this. I think that's really nice. I don't think it smells like a certain age group. I think it just smells like a very successful, very put-together individual. I love this. Awesome shave. What an enjoyable one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm going to get out and enjoy a flawless Perfect shave. Thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you in the next one. Soobs out.